Hello, my fellow geeks. We're just a few nights away from WrestleMania 34, and I've got predictions. So, WrestleMania is always an exciting time of year. Everybody's excited to see what's going to happen. And for first time, I'm going to be sharing what I think is going to happen and hope some a little bit of what I would like to happen. So, don't mind me if I'm looking down a little bit. I made notes. I want to make sure I keep those notes close by and so I don't foul up too much. So let's not waste any time. We got 13 matches to talk about. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, we're going to start with what's going to be on the pre-show. I don't know if this is going to be the order of the things. I'm going right off of the WWE website as I read these things. So let's get right into it. First is the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. Inaugural WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. Um, I don't know who all the participants are are going to be you know there's going to be a lot of the women that aren't involved in any matches are going to be in these thrown into this um focus seems really to be on bailey and sasha banks going into this uh there's other being so superstars going to be involved in it but i think it's going to come down to those two being the last ones in and my prediction is bailey is gonna toss sasha banks over that rope maybe not Maybe they won't be the last two, but I think Bailey's coming out on top and she's going to screw over Sasha at some point, just like at the Royal Rumble. And then this will hopefully lead into a bigger breakdown in their relationship and eventually a match. They should be having this match at WrestleMania, but that'd be pushing it too much because there's too much going on already. So let's move on to the Andre the Moore... Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal match. Uh, or the arm bar as it's being referred to lately. Um, this is another one. It's not really clear, clear what direction they're going with this. They really don't in the past few years that they've had it. But out of the people they've announced that are going to be, there are some that haven't been announced. There's big rumors about Big Show coming back. Um, Elias doesn't have a match. I'm sure he's going to be on the show. More than likely, I think he's going to be involved in this match too. He is my top seed to win right now because he people are loving Elias. You know, what's WWE stand for? Walk with Elias. So, um, yeah, I, I, it's a toss up between him and the Big Show. If Big Show does come back, I could see that him because he's, you know, not. It doesn't seem like Big Show is going to be very active in this near future. So, Big Show or Elias? I can't make a decisive decision, so I'm calling for either one of those two people. Uh, yeah, that's it. But moving on to the last of the pre-show matches, we have the Cruiserweight Championship Finals between <clears throat> Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali. Now... They're both exciting stars to watch. They both have great skills in the ring. Um, would those have been my top choices to go to the finals when they had, you know, added new guys into the 205 Live brand, like Buddy Murphy and uh, Roderick Strong was one of those guys who did advance in his match, but he didn't make it to the finals. So between Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander, I'm calling for Mustafa Ali. I'd like to see him win. I don't. He hasn't held the cruiserweight championship. He is a great high flyer. He's got that 450 splash. I've seen him do a couple times, and I just think it's his time. They can build it into him, and then start feuding him with some of these other guys in the roster that they've been trying to rebuild. Uh, I'd like to see him, maybe put him in an angle with Drew Gulak, because. Drew Gulak's match in that tournament. That was impressive. He came around from his uh, stupid PowerPoints gimmick to being, you know, back to being a brawler. But that's it for the pre-show. Moving on to the main WrestleMania 34 card. We're going to go to the Raw Women's Championship, which I think is another going to be one of those real predictable matches. Uh, Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. Nia Jax, all the way. And next, Alexis had a long run with the title now, so I think she's overdue to lose it. And 
they're pushing Nia Jax as this big baby face and WrestleMania is a lot of about a lot of baby face moments. So I'm going Nia Jax all the way. And one thing I can tell you about this Raw this WrestleMania, I think there's gonna be a lot of title changes. So some matches we might not be as satisfied with, but most of them I think will be pretty good. Um, we go on from there to the next title match, which is the Raw Tag Team title match. Facing Sheamus and Cesaro, The Bar, versus Braun Strowman and a partner of his choice. Now, I think everybody's a little disappointed that we didn't get to find out who his partner was going to be before WrestleMania. I know I watched Raw expecting to find out who it was going to be, but they didn't tell us. So that goes to say it's going to, uh, I'm predicting it's going to be a returning star. Um, I've seen names of like the Big Show tossed around, Neville, uh, Bray Wyatt even out there, but I don't know. I, I, I really can't predict who it's going to be. Unfortunately, I don't think... I don't want to see Braun Strowman and his partner win the tag team titles. So I'm calling for the bar to retain the championships. And whoever Braun's partner is going to be is going to be the fault. Either it'll build into a new feud for Braun with his partner costing him the championships. Because maybe it'll be at last minute he'll decide to finally tag him in and it'll just go completely wrong. Or I don't know. But... I sh I'm sure everyone right now doesn't want to see Braun Strowman win the tag team titles. It'll be epic because he'll never, ta if he wins, it'll be by not tagging his partner at all. And it'll go around as this whole, you know, his, this, you know, the monster among men. He single-handedly won the tag team championships and didn't need his partner. He had him because he was a prior to have a partner. But I I'm calling it for the bar. I don't. I don't think they're gonna, they're not gonna make Braun look weak, but they're also not gonna put the tag team titles on somebody else at the moment. Um, but let's move on to the next one. US Fatal 4-Way Championship match. We've got Jinder Mahal, the champion Randy Orton, Bobby Roode, and Rusev, who just got added last week. Um, this late, addition of Rusev gives me high hopes that they could put the championship on him because he's well overdue. He has so much going on for him right now. He's one of the most over stars on the roster, but he gets jobbed out every week. Except for this week. He, got, he actually won clean over Jinder Mahal. I think they just did that to give everybody false hope that Rusev might win. But I know they know Rusev is a draw, and that's probably why they put him in this match. But as I've been seeing, it's a lot of focus still on Bobby Roode and Randy Orton. I don't think Randy Orton's gonna hold on to it because he won cha you know WWE Championship last year, and he's just gonna be a transition champion for Bobby Roode to get the belt back. They gave it to Randy so he would have that Grand Slam championship to brag about, but he's not. He's not walking out of WrestleMania with the US title. It's above him. They can use him in so much better ways, and that seems like what Randy Orton is. He just helps other people get over and stuff like that. So, that's it. Randy Orton is not winning. I think we're going to see Bobby Roode win. I'd like to see Rusev win. But I don't think they're going to do that. Intercontinental Championship match. Miz versus Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins. First, we know Miz ain't winning. Um, as much as we'd like to see Miz keep on going, he just had his daughter born. He's going to take some time off to be at home with his wife and his newborn. So I think right there we can disqualify the Miz from retaining the championship. Now, who I'd like to see win, Finn Balor. Who we're probably gonna see win, Seth Rollins. There's a lot of chatter on the internet that, you know, with pre-bookings of other arenas, a match for the Greatest Royal Rumble that 
was floating around with Seth Rollins versus, I think, Finn Balor for the title, or maybe somebody else. But it looks like they're planning to give the title to Seth Rollins, which would also give him a Grand Slam championship. So every member of the Shield will be a Grand Slam champion, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Hey, I'm still happy that Dean Ambrose was the first. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Seth Rollins, he's winning, hands down. Uh, let's go now to the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. We have the Usos defending against New Day and the Bludgeon Brothers. Um, I don't know how this is going to go down. I think that, like I said, there's going to be a lot more title changes on this show. So the two tag team title belts, I think they're going to just stay where they are. With Usos retaining to maybe draw out a feud with the Bludgeon Brothers afterwards, where maybe at Money in the Bank, Bludgeon Brothers will take the titles from them. But I don't see them putting the titles on New Day again. It's just New Day has held the tag team titles so many times, and no matter what the New Day does, they're making money. So I just don't see them taking the belts off of the Usos right now. They're gonna wait and do it another time. Um, so that's it I'm calling. I'm calling SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. Usos retain. Ooh, you know, the, the next one is a bit of an unpredictable thing because we've been seeing some weird things going on. The women, Raw Women's Championship, I'm sorry, SmackDown Women's Championship match. Charlotte Flair versus Asuka. The, the weird things we're talking about is um, Carmella trying to cash in two times in the last couple weeks on SmackDown and failing to do it. She doesn't have much longer to cash in because Money in the Bank is the pay-per-view following this one. So we don't know what's good. I, I, I don't know if they're going to have her cash in on this match or maybe they'll even go to the Raw Women's match. But I don't know. Maybe they'll just have her hold on to it until a SmackDown live or something like that. Or maybe she'll jump ship to Raw and try and jump cash in after Nia Jax defends one day but Asuka's gonna win they're not gonna break her streak yet um it's just too soon her, of her being on the main roster to break the streak whether they have Carmella cash in and make it a triple threat match making one less singles match on this show because I don't know if you noticed everything I'm talking about. It's multi-people matches, you know, uh, triple threats, four, fatal four ways, triple threat tag team matches. There's not a lot of just regular matches going on. There's very, very few singles matches. So I'm just gonna call it Asuka no matter what, she's winning. And now these next four matches are probably what would be considered the, the headliner matches there was, was being advertised three uh, marquee matches. Now we got four just because this match is got the return of Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon versus Sami Owens, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. The stipulation being if Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens win, they get reinstated to SmackDown. No problems at all. But if Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon win, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens will be terminated permanently. Now, my problem with this match is whichever way it goes, it's not going to be a good outcome for the fans. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens have been incredible these last few months as this great heel collaboration. And we want to see them stay on SmackDown Live. They're a good draw for that. And we don't want to see them go away. But... On the other side, now that Daniel Bryan's involved, nobody wants to see Daniel Bryan lose his return match, especially at WrestleMania. Every, I'm sure, I and everyone can agree with me, everyone loves Daniel Bryan, and we want to see him come out on top. And that's why I'm calling it to be Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon winning. Now, are Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens really going to be fired? Maybe they'll be picked up by Raw. And then during a superstar shakeup, they'll get split apart again. And one of them will end up back on SmackDown. But we know they're not going to be 
really fired for good. They'll probably get signed on by Stephanie McMahon right after the match. Or, you know, they'll be on the very following Monday night. But Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon are going to win. Because it's Daniel Bryan's return match. That's 100% the only reason why they're winning. Uh, moving on to the marquee match that they've been talking about. Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. Triple H and Stephanie McMahon are not going to beat Kurt Angle and Ronda freaking Rousey. Or Ronda Rowdy Rousey. Because it's her debut match. And this has been such a big build up. Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey are coming. That's it. And now the next match. The first main event of the night. Which should be the last main event of the night. Is Shinsuke Nakamura facing AJ Styles for the WWE Championship? I don't know how to call this. They are both amazing wrestlers. And either way, whoever wins, people are going to be happy. I think that after this run that AJ Styles has had, he's going to drop the belt to Shinsuke because Shinsuke has been on a rise. He won the Royal Rumble. He's been teasing AJ for these last few weeks with the, I'm going to beat you at WrestleMania with knee to the face. And so that's what I'm just gonna call it. It's going to be Shinsuke Nakamura beating AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. They'll feud a little more after that. AJ will get his rematch. We'll have another great match at Money in the Bank, but Shinsuke is going to be AJ Styles. That's what I'm predicting. Um, and I'm not saying this is my last prediction because I have one more after. But Universal Championship match: Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is winning, hands down. That's it. There's no if ends or buts about it. Roman Reigns is winning. We all know this. Brock Lesnar's going back to UFC. If for some reason Brock Lesnar wins, we know that he's signed another deal and it'll be a fucking miracle. I'm sorry for dropping that F-bomb there, but Roman Reigns is winning. We all know it. It's the most predictable thing in the show. And okay, so that's all the official matches on the WWE website for WrestleMania 34. Will we see John Cena versus some version of The Undertaker, whether it be just Undertaker or American Badass? I don't know. They could be trolling us so bad with all this buildup that if Undertaker and John Cena don't have this match, there may be a riot. Because you know there's going to be a point where John Cena is going to come out, cut a promo, hop over the barricade, take his seat, and then they'll probably be a gun. And he'll jump in the ring and they'll have their match. Only the WWE knows if this is actually going to happen. We might see some news break over these next couple days that says Undertaker's there. He's at WrestleMania. He's going to win. He's going to face John Cena. Now, if they do have Undertaker face John Cena at WrestleMania 34, Undertaker is walking out tonight. I don't see them having him lose again two in a row. Especially after the horrible match he had with Roman Reigns last year. I think the only way we're seeing Undertaker go in is if he's 100% confident he can put on an amazing match. And I think with an opponent like John Cena, he can put on an amazing match. Because John Cena is one of... is not if the best one of the top workers the WWE have and he knows how to help, help people out and put on incredible matches. Um, I'm not saying it's because I'm a big fan of John Cena, I'm just saying it's a fact that John Cena is incredibly talented and if we're going to see this match, it will be a good match because Undertaker knows he can actually do something. So. <clears throat> Thank you for bearing with me for 20 minutes through this video. Um, so I hope you enjoy WrestleMania. I'm going to hopefully enjoy WrestleMania. If you stuck through me this whole time, I'll be attempting to tweet live throughout the show. Uh, 
follow me at Budslide311 on Twitter and reply to my tweets, join me in tweets, whatever you have to do, but it's going to be something to watch. So, see you guys then. And maybe after the show, I'll give you the results of what happened. We'll see. Take care.